How's it going, everybody? Welcome to day 28 of Oktoberfest. We are here with an actual sequel to a game I played a few years ago for Oktoberfest. I played Do You Copy, I think, two years ago. It was a pretty good game. And I found out yesterday they made a sequel. It's called The Lead to Murder. So I tried to record this earlier today, but I couldn't. So I ended up doing the live stream of Scream Fortress and... Yeah, but it's kind of a good thing I had to restart because I got confused in the beginning. Instructions weren't clear, and I had to adjust some settings. And it turns out I don't do anything, I'm just stuck. Dot, 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 dot. Okay. Uh, let's see. Are the settings the same? Yeah. Um, motion player off. I don't really want lens flare. I have no idea what Bloom is. I want to keep the ambient inclusion on just so I have some kind of look to the game. <laughs> Shadows can be medium. Let's bring that to medium, I guess. One day, I will upgrade my computer. When? I do not know. Let's see, how do we look now? Better. Journal? Another distraught mother looking for a missing kid in Gracewind Park. Shouldn't even be worth mentioning, really. I could do this whole job from my office and tell her I never found anything. Wait for a park ranger to find a ripped up jacket or something and just call it a day. But something about this feels off. There's a wrongness to it that's burrowed into my bones and I just can't shake it. I should remember to bring a flashlight. Did I put batteries in it and lock up the and lock the place up? No telling how long I'll be gone this for this time. I actually read better. And it took me a while to find the flashlight when I first did this, so let's take that. One battery. Oh, when slept in the inventory. That confused me last time. There we go. Let's get the key. Okay, gotta select the key. There we go. The Leeds Murder. So the guy is basically just an asshole. It's just like, your kids are dead. <laughs> he doesn't even leave the office. He's only doing this because he feels like someone's off. Alright. Two days ago, I got a call from a woman asking me to look for Michael Leeds. I'd seen the name earlier in this week. Local guy in his 50s. Fresh out of prison. He was accused of killing his buddies on a camping trip back in the 1970s. Just a few days out and he was already popping up on flyers around town. Missing. Last seen heading into Gracewind State Park. I've seen those seven words too many times since I moved out here. They might as well just say, don't bother, you're not going to find them. I told her I would do my best and plan to just wait until she gave up. They usually do. Then that, then that call came through last night. The man on the other end of the line was out of breath. It's me, Michael. I found in the woods. Wrong number. That's what I told myself. Another Michael. Not the other. Not the guy I was looking for. I said to myself over and over again. I was still trying to convince myself, even while I was talking to the park ranger who told me about the car that had driven through the service entrance. And now here I am in front of a stolen Gracewind Park Ranger vehicle. Parked in front of a cabin that's not marked on any of the park's maps. I wonder if it's the goat man that called. Oh gosh, this is horrible. Jeez, I can barely run it. Fine, I'll turn off ambient occlusion. Let's see if that fixes anything. No. Definitely not. Are you telling me I won't be able to play this because for some reason my computer just doesn't want to work with it? I don't even know what an anti-aliasing method is. Foliage go down to medium. Shadows go down to medium. Or go down to low, I mean. 
I have no idea what a bloom is, but I'll turn that off too. Alright, let's see if that helps. Not really. What is going on? Do I have to put everything on low just to play? This game is freaking laggy. Two thousand years later. Okay, I think I got it now. Turns out resolution was a big uh, factor to the lag issue because apparently if it goes over 50 it goes beyond the default capabilities so when I brought it to 50 which is the default and I had to change a few settings and everything worked and now I made it so it actually looks decent without lagging so my guess is maybe we're getting calls from the goat man he was intelligent but I don't know if he's in well, then again he did use a radio just fine and and uh, do you copy? So I wouldn't be surprised if he managed to figure out a phone. But still, something doesn't add up. And I would not do this. I would not walk in the woods this deep into the woods alone. I mean, if something comes after you, you're alone. You're screwed. And this is completely different from Do You Copy. Instead of just hanging out on the tower and talking to a dude on the radio, you're actually walking around. And I've seen a screenshot on the page of the game, and you will encounter the goat man. Is that blood? Looks like it, because I don't think wood has red stripes. Like red spots. Okay. Oh, a key conveniently pl hung on a... Okay. <laughs> sure. And suddenly you don't hear the outdoors. Alright then. What have we here? And I can't read it. Oh. November 1879. I see her sometimes. The angel that saved me from the water. Ma says she's not real. No one else has ever seen her. But I gave my angel a name anyway. Eury, Eury, Eury Dice, Eury Dice. How the hell do you? Say? What kind of name is that? Where is my phone? A pen fell on the floor. Dragon Ball Legends. Not now. We are trying to figure out what the hell name is this. Where did that pen go? I. Okay. I'm such a professional. Right. Let's see how you pronounce this name. How do you pronounce it? Pronunciation. There we go. Eurydice. Eur Eurydice? Eurydice. Eurydice? Eurydice. 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 Is that how you say it? Alright then. Eurydice. I did not expect that to be the way you pronounce it, but okay. Eurydice. I think that's a pretty name. My angel sings when I tell her that she has a name now. I can hear it. A twinkling sound, like bells at the back of my of my head. Ma doesn't understand. Eurydice tells me not to worry about Ma, Ma and Pa. She sings me to sleep every night now. Right. Alice lore, personal log. Okay, then. Who the hell is this Eurydice? And, uh, why are the walls boarded up? Really? Gotta access a piano? Why would I want to open a piano? No piano. It looks like it's locked. Oh. Another key. The town of Grace Wind today formally announced the disbanding of the Grace Wind Scouts program. For years, this junior outdoorsman club has been the subject of much controversy, especially after the disappearance of Scout Troop 19 during the overnight trip to Grace Wind Lake. Continuing on page four. Okay. 
Talks of angels. His appearance. I did not. I'm just gonna shut the door. This place is a mess. I can't imagine why someone would ever want to live here. Much less how someone could have found this place. It just I was getting ready to give up would call this whole thing a lost cause again. I heard it. Slamming sound from the other side of the house. That is when you leave! at all I don't want to move that something is trapped here and I do not want to let that thing out oh oh dear The music's picking up, I don't like it. The ritual is done. No one ever think to stop me returning my personal effects to me. A sign of vision from a baptismal bird. The distant, the distant memory hidden in a melody of a shattered sun. My locket sealed by song. Promises of the body revealed by cleansing flame. And a sign of hope dancing on a traitor's tongue. So long as they stay hidden, my return is inevitable. Who's return? Who's returning? And why are you returning? And why is it the other way around? If it's found, then would you return? Why the hell would I move that? Why would I want to open that? I'm, I want to leave. Now what? More strangers this week. Eurydice showed them to me, coming through the woods, lost and cold. She showed me all the things that would happen to them, the ways that they would be hurt trying to get back to their homes. The people of Gracewind turned their backs on me long ago, but they have the decency to leave me to my own devices, so I helped them. Eurydice was furious. I fell today. Eurydice has protected me for so long, I thought to myself that in just a few moments I would be back on the trail, that everything would be fine. But the longer I sat there in Underbush, covering my bleeding eye, the more it set in that, was, that, was, that this was happening in the now. She made her message clear. If I betrayed her, there would be a cost. I have forgotten what it was like to fear. My angel, Eurydice. I never realized how thin her patience ran. Okay. Ah. It's a password from one of these. Can you please stop that with the music? And how come the banging stopped? I'd have fear I, there's something I'm gonna <laughs> look into. Just give me a sec. Okay, I just want to see how long the game is, because if the game is pretty long, then that would mean things won't happen right away. Oh, that reminds me. I need to save. And I feel like I saved at a very bad time. There is no way I'll be attacked just yet, right? What is the deal with the cabin, though? I feel like I'm gonna regret picking this up. Stop with the sound cue! This small wax figurine was resting on a windowsill in the cabin, almost as if standing guard. Who would take the time to make something like this, and why would they just leave it lying around like that? There seems to be a symbol card on it, and I can't scratch it away no matter how hard I try. It was on a windowsill, facing the bedroom, watching. 
What the? Oh, it's just a tree. <laughs> I thought I saw fur. I was like, what the hell is out there? Let's see. Locked doors. A bed over what seems to be some kind of basement with chains over it. Locked doors after locked doors. I get the feeling that they were trying to keep something in rather than keep something out. And I have no idea why the hell this guy is still here. If I was him, as soon as I saw the condition of this cabin, the first thing I would do is turn around and run. I would run as fast as I freaking can. Am I able to read the journal? One who lingers in the 18 page of missing from is out of place. I feel like there's more to it. Shed door. Do I have to go back outside? And it's dark now. Whoop de doo. That is just splendid. Like anything. Hey, Bosh, he's in my head. Everything out here has been pretty normal. I found something in the lake, and now it's in my mind. An old cabin about a mile from old Gracewind. There wasn't much there except for Alice, still alive at all this time. But I marked the location down. I'm going to put up some caution signs. This is my lady of the lake needs the site undisturbed. We don't want anyone getting hurt out there. We've got some more missing people this week. <laughs> missing this week, too, because Alice's pet won't let us do our work. So I've been keeping an extra eye. I've got to make sure no one else is drawn away from my lady's light. Gets hurt out here, after all. I'll make another trip out there tomorrow to make sure the witch is sealed away. My lady needs nourishment. Those signs get posted. I'll update you soon. Alice is still alive. There's a dude who saw an angel. And there's something keeping people from doing their work. So there's a pet... Either there's like an actual dog out here, or something supernatural, like, I don't know, a goat man? Ugh. They wouldn't have something come after you so soon, right? And also, holy shit, it's dark. You want the flashlight. Can I make it brighter? Brightness. That doesn't look like it makes any difference. Oh makes difference may I see better now no it just makes the screen white are you kidding me that's your idea of Ugh. apparently he doesn't know how brightness works oh I'm thinking gamma is that what I'm thinking of gamma is there gamma options? Because it's too dark to see a damn thing out here. Ugh, I am not liking this at all. This guy is making a huge mistake. I'm just going to shut that. Pa brought me down to the lake last week, uh, last week. I didn't know what he was planning to do. He held my head under. He told me it was better I weren't alive. That no daughter should have grown up to be a witch. Have to grow up to be a witch. I didn't know that water could make you feel like there's fire inside of you. Everything went black and Pa was bringing me back to the lake. I told him I didn't want to go and he brought me back to the lake again. He told me no daughter should have to grow up to be a witch. The water, fire inside, dark. I heard the bells and Pa was taking me back down to the lake again. I didn't want it to happen. I tried to run. Water, fire, dark. The bells. I called out for Ma. Water. Fire. Dark. The bells. I don't know how many time. How many time? You mean times it happened? I don't know how many times he brought me down to the lake. How many times he dragged me down there before I did it. Before I pushed him and I hope he felt it. Water. Fire. Dark. I should tell Ma. Okay, so this is Alice's thing we're reading. Okay, what am I supposed to do with this? Oh. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> Man. 
Nothing's happened yet, and I feel so nervous. And I hate that the game's gotten darker. I think I might have made it too dark. What if I hit... There we go. Let's make sure it didn't affect the graphics. Nope, it did. Okay. We're also going to save one more time. Okay, I can see a little better. Let's not touch the brightness again. Torn music sheet. So I'm guessing I have to find the other half. Or the other half is inside. Now, can I? Yeah, I want to inspect. Okay, I think I can't do anything with this until I open the lock, so... I guess I'll keep looking around. I can't help but get a feeling maybe Alice is locked in there. Or it's the other way around, and Alice locked her parents in there for what they did to her. I do not want to open that door. Nothing's happening yet, and I feel so uneasy. Why don't you basically fill with a pungent liquid? Okay. I thought I saw a key, but it was just a handle. Oh, what do we have here? Another one. Tonight was a weird one, boss. I know you don't read these, but it makes me feel better thinking that you do, so I'm going to pretend. It's also movement down at the lake. Oh, excuse me, there weren't any cabins or campsites rented out, so it seemed kind of fishy. And I didn't want a repeat of the incident with those kids from a few weeks ago happening again, so I went to check it out. And I know you said it isn't so serious and no one was hurt, but I learned, I swear. I'm printing out all these notices and keeping them up on the board here. Anyways, I went down to check it out. Nothing too weird, just an old guy going for a hike. He didn't look like much of a hiker, but he told me about the trail he took to get there and it sounded like it all checked out. Just another local. They don't make them anywhere else like they do in Gracewind. He invited me to look out at the stars from the lake for a bit. I don't know why, but I said I would. I took a seat right on the stump and stared into the big empty nothing. I don't get stargazing, honestly. At least, I thought I didn't. But then I looked up and saw those stars at the lake and found myself thinking, you know, maybe there's something to it after all. But that's not not the weird part. You ever have a song you just can't get out of your head? Or an itch that won't go away? No matter how hard you scratch? I felt that. Out around the back of my mind, like there's a thought there and I just can't reach it. Every time I think about the lake now, it's like scratching that itch. Damn if it's a persistent though. So is Alice doing something? And how is she a witch? Oh, another one. Handwriting is still shaky and messy, but slightly less so. Eurydice left a child on my doorstep. A wailing, stinking, screaming thing. I can only imagine what it looks like. As much as I hate her, I can't bring myself to let an innocent suffer for her actions. I'll name the child Philip. 1912. Philip has grown prodigiously. He's much larger than I would have expected, and he has... I started to speak, babbling mostly, but I hear him trying to form words. 1914. Philip is standing and walking on his own. His ability to speak is unusual. He has great difficulty forming words on his own, but he can repeat things that he has heard with incredible accuracy. Just today, I heard him repeating bird calls that he heard while lying in his bed. 1917. More and more people from Gracewind find themselves near my home every week. No matter how many times I tell them they keep coming this way. This is Eurydice's doing. I know it. Philip understands my anger. I'm trying to keep them safe, but they don't know the danger that she, possess that she poses. He wants to scare them off, but I've told him that it would only make things worse. I hope he understands. Do you mean to tell me that whoever this angel is left the goat man on Alice's door? And Alice raised the goat man. Is this a prequel or a sequel? An actual sequel and I'm just finding out his origins. And why he does what he does. Because that definitely sounds like the goat man. Being able to repeat things, yada yada yada. Though his language... Uh, trouble speaking doesn't make sense to me though. Because he seems perfectly capable of talking on his own. I mean, he was able to mimic the word, like the voice of the hiker we help, perfectly. But he says, but she says babbling. So is it just like his normal speech is like making goat noises, and he can only speak if he hears something? 
Uh, I really don't like this. Normally it wouldn't be that big of a deal, but I'm alone in the dark, so that just makes horror games even more creepy. I know that's the kind of the point. This is a beautiful painting of Gracewind Lake. I wonder if this is actually a sequel or a prequel. What was that? Was that just me trying to open the drawer? Okay, yeah, it was just me. Jeez Louise. I really hope I don't have to open that thing in the floor, because I really don't want to. And I get the feeling that the it can't be the goat man that's stuck under here. It can't be the goat man that's trapped in this cabin. Unless it was, and it got out, but that wouldn't make sense because all the locks are still here. And I don't know if that's chained up or it was some chained limbs and it got out so they're just laying here, but... <sighs> My guess is... Alice maybe got locked up, which pissed off the goat man, and it went after her parents? They got food here. Doesn't look that old. Well, I guess we'll figure everything out. Well, I get the feeling I should have done that. So, she raised the goat man. Who is this angel that she's talking about? And why would she deliver a goat man to Alice of all people? Why would she be called a witch? Well, if it's the era I'm thinking of, it's probably because she knows how to read. I do not want to open that. Please tell me it's locked. A various change. I just heard something banging from it. So, someone or something is down there. Jeez, I thought I heard whispers, but it was just the freaking door. Dude, what is your problem? These journal pages you're finding should have been a red freaking flag. I mean, you're reading about these things about her parents trying to drown her being called a witch and then you found the one on the table about the freaking goat man and you're not thinking this place is weird I mean he walks in place is destroyed windows boarded door is locked a basement door with a bed over it something was just banging down there and he doesn't have any feeling like I should probably get the hell out of here no he just decides to keep looking around because he's a freaking fool. How long have I been going? I guess I'll continue for maybe another six minutes. Because I can't let fear get the best of me. It's Halloween time. I should not be afraid. I did the first game. I should be capable of doing this one. Why can't I zoom in on this thing? I guess it's probably because I just had to play the music. So, wait a minute, wait a minute, I did not mean to do that, here we go. And you said it was watching the bedroom. I'm really starting to think something is trapped here. Everything tells me something was meant to be kept in. If they went as far as to make a waxed doll that is supposedly looking like it's guarding something, facing this room where it just so happens to have something that's chained up and locked, and something down there was just banging. Am I able to crouch? Nope, because I want to see my pew through the crack, but I don't know if the goat man will be in there. It just wouldn't make sense for the goat man to be trapped down there. Why are these rooms locked up? What is this lock like?
It wouldn't be that simple. Yeah, it wouldn't be. What is this dude thinking? And I'm too afraid to go outside. Uh, but at least I plan on doing some AFK journey after this. Just gonna make a video with that. I wonder if there are alternate endings. Let's take a look at that real quick. Ending choice? And there are endings. So apparently this can end in more ways than one. And apparently you can make a choice. But I'm not going to look any further than that because I don't want any spoilers. So what do I do now? What do I have in my inventory? That's journals, a wax doll. Old journal and music box. What kind of music it plays? I can't use, can't use that here. Is the music box meant to tame the goat man or whatever is locked up in there? Will it make the goat man sleep or whatever it is trapped in the floor fall asleep? I want to know more. Where are the? Are there more pages? I want to learn more about this. And how does she know that the goat man wants to scare people away? She says that it struggles with speech. So how is it telling her what it wants to do? And I really don't want to go outside. I don't think the goat man is going to spawn. Not this early at least. And I really don't want to go out there. gotta be something that tells me two doors well there's two blocks with this with a similar weird lock one wax doll Ugh, I really don't want to open that door please be locked please be locked please be locked thank god that means I'll have to go out there <laughs> there's now I don't have a reason to go that way even the sound effects in this game are creepy. That's a good thing. The Oktoberfest 2024 has been lacking in the scaring department, so to speak. And I feel like if I look out the window for too long, the goat man is just going to do a little jump. Just go out the window to scare me, and then you'll be like, what is that? And the goat man is going to be something on your mind. Hmm. I wonder. Can't seem to use that here. Uh, what about the music box? Can't be. A washing basin. I wonder if I find something dirty. For the pungent. Pungent means bad, right? Having a sharply strong taste or smell. So it's a strongly smelling washing basin. Something in my gut tells me I need to find something that's dirty and oh. Okay. I can look at a piece of bread. What the hell am I supposed to do with that? That's the only interactable thing. Jeez! I thought I saw someone kneeling behind me, like, why is there a figure kneeling behind me, but it's just a freaking bag. No, for real, what? Why is this here? Why is this something I can suddenly interact with? Why the hell am I goofing off with bread? Can't use that on the bread. I'm just experimenting. I'm trying to keep an open mind. One thing I learned from playing Baldur's Gate 3 is that you really gotta have an open mind. Got to experiment. Sometimes what you least expect might be the actual thing you can do, and check your environment. Yada yada yada. So, might as well uh, experiment with what I got. I really should have looked around outside before it got dark, cause I really don't want to go out there. 
Especially now that the game has hinted that the goat man is here. That this is his home. Uh, does the does the goat man actually still live here? Like this is clearly where he was raised. But who is Eurydice? And how in the world did they get a baby goat man? Is this gonna be like some amnesia type shit? It's gonna be some kind of alternate dimension, completely different world. Take for example, Grimmel and Lay, due to the unique shape of the Lay Basin, and reflects that blah, 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 blah. Okay, it doesn't seem much for me to do here. So, I'm guessing everything takes place in this cabin. Is that what I'm being led to believe? Because I don't see much of the trail. There doesn't seem to be much outside. I mean, even the back door is locked. And for some odd reason, I can interact with this painting. Okay, there. That tells me something's behind it. A beautiful painting. That there's something behind it. Music box. Might as well experiment. Totally in a wax looks like it could be, almost be a candle, but there's no wick to it. Looks like it could be made into a candle, and it has one of those symbols on its back. There's a row of candles around here. Are there any symbols on them? I'm thinking that the description of the doll might give me a hint of some kind, but... Gosh damn it, I don't know. There's something alive down there, I know that much. It must have heard me walking around and try to get my attention by banging on the floor so I can get out. But it can't be the goat, man. It can't be. If this game is meant to be a sequel, then the goat man is clearly free. He's out and about, so... Do I actually have to leave or go outside or something? blocked by rocks so everything takes place in this area so I am not done here oh there's more lights I can turn on so they have electricity in this place that's interesting nice looking fireplace why can I interact with the fireplace I wonder if I have to light it to keep the goat man from getting in Fuck this. What the hell is that noise? I have no clue what to do. So we got a music box. We got wax doll and an old journal. The tour music sheet. I'm guessing I have to play this once I unlock the piano, but how in the world do I do that? Why can't I? Oh, the pages are clipping through the cover. That's that's nice. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's lore. I'm missing page four? Where is page four? I want to know more about the lore. I'm a guy who really enjoys lore, so knowing that I missed one is now going to drive me crazy. Oh, maybe it's in that one locked room, but where's the password? The only hint I got was the wax doll that has one of the symbols on it.
There's got to be a hint somewhere. Something in my gut tells me that I'm missing something. And the only places I can go was that shed. That looks poorly chained. It's gonna stop him from opening the door. Well, maybe the chain, like maybe the door can be open. I don't know. Let's not overthink it. Not like I ever tried to open a chained up door before. The one thing that doesn't make any sense is why is this piece of old bread interactable? Why am I looking at it? Do I gotta make a sandwich out of it? Am I gonna feed the goat man? In exchange for my life, here's a sandwich. Okay, what the hell did that do? Oh, no light bulb. I wonder. Okay, never mind. Okay, that's a dead bulb. Can I? Nope. Why would I want a dead light bulb? It's kind of hoping that it would like like reveal something to me if I put a working light bulb in a, another room. But uh, right now, I don't see anything else I can do at the moment. Some books, not like it matters. I guess I should. Oh, I got hit by the frickin' door. I don't think the goat man is gonna do anything so soon. So I can go back that way either. So everything does take place in this cabin. What do I do? <sighs> I got no idea. Not a clue. If I everything on the floor is, I'm surprised nothing forced its way out. But again, that can't be the goat man trapped down there. Where are the pages are in there, but where's the key? I wonder. Is there a key hidden in that piece of bread? Why else can I interact with it? Can I... I'm able to rotate it and all that, but... What is so special about this bread? Why can I interact with it? Okay, I can't open my inventory while holding it. Do I need a knife? Do I need to cut the the bread and maybe there's a key hidden inside of it why is this bread the only thing I can interact with what's the point of doing any of this I am I'm lost did I miss something in that shed goat man is clearly not here not at the moment Okay, why does this part of the floor stand out? There's no goat man yet. There's no goat man. Clearly can't go that way. Is there anything else I'm missing? Is there something in here? Absolutely nothing. What am I supposed to do? Do I just leave? Is there something in that truck I needed? I don't know. I really don't. I get the gut feeling I shouldn't go back to the beginning where the truck is. I feel like there's something obvious and yet There's a reason for these things. 
So one thing I learned about playing Legend of Zelda, things happen for a reason. There's a reason why this is here. There's a reason why I can interact with a random piece of bread. There's a reason for everything, and yet I don't know. I don't know what the, the developer wants me to do. I'm just walking back and forth to the same damn spots over and over, asking myself the same questions. What the hell do I do? At this point, i rather see the goat man. Because one thing I can't stand about a game is when it doesn't give you any context clues and you're left wandering around in the same damn places asking yourself the same damn questions. What do I do? Why is this here? Why is that here? What am I supposed to do with this? What am I supposed to do with that? Where do I go? And there's nothing that's telling me what to do next. Not even the journal entries make any sense. Am I supposed to leave and go to the lake? Am I supposed to stay here and find a key? If I go back on the trail, will I die? Is the goat man gonna come after me? What the hell do I do? How do I get the code to the door? Is that... Is that cage? And that cage looks busted open. Is that where Alice kept the, the goat man? Put him in a cage? Is that why he goes on a rampage and just kills people? Because he's just pissed at humans? I don't know. At this point, now I'm just stumped and... Why can I interact with this painting? Look at that. There's clearly something behind it that looks like a hinge and that leading me to believe this painting can come off. Why can I interact with the painting? Why can I interact with the fireplace? Why, of all things in this game, can I interact with a piece of freaking bread? That bread almost looks good to eat. The only context I got is this wax doll. I want to go back out and leave and like look around, but... Will I die? Okay, yeah, there's nothing back here, so... That leads me to believe that I don't go anywhere else. But will it trigger the goat man if I go on the trail? Like, will I be punished for leaving? Will that be, like, one of the endings for quitters who try to go back? What if it's pointless to even go that way? I'll be scaring myself for nothing. What has happened in this cabin that it's so banged up? I just don't see anything I can do. I can't crouch. There's... There's nothing. There's absolutely nothing. I'll get oh crap it's almost been an hour long I've been walking around for 30 minutes and found nothing you're kidding me right well I'm not like anyone's gonna watch this to the end anyway cuz no one cares I think that's enough I literally walked around talking to myself for half an hour and I got no idea what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. And I can't help but get, shake this feeling from my gut that if I try to go back to where the truck was, like where I, where the direction I went, it's going to trigger the goat man to come after me to teach me that I'm not supposed to be leaving. I don't know. This game doesn't make any freaking sense. So, I don't know. I want to look things up, but I don't don't like cheating either and I hate that a game was, makes me um, have to google just to have an idea of what I'm doing and that is a problem that I have with games I mean look at this clearly I have to stick around 
<sighs> Scooby, I have to stick around with this cabin. There's something here. But the thing is, I don't understand. The game is giving me very little clues what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, what the hell do I do? I got a wax doll, a music box that I can't interact with at all. Wait a minute. There's another symbol on it. Okay, well at least I got two of the codes. That's something, unless there's something hidden on this. Nope. So I got two out of four for one of these doors. And the order doesn't make sense to me. And there's nothing I can click on. There's nothing I can interact with. The only thing I can interact with is a piece of bread, and I can't even pick that up. And something in my gut tells me that I have to rip it open or something, but the game doesn't tell you shit. Nothing is giving me any kind of context that I can do something here. So, to avoid this video for going for at least an hour long of me just walking in a, around a cabin over and over, I'm cutting it here. I might do a part two, maybe, but I really don't want to have to Google it. I really don't. But it's not that this game is giving me much of a choice because I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Maybe I should grow a pair and just go outside. But something tells me that's a bad idea, but that's probably just me being afraid. Well, I don't know. This game went from being scary to just being annoying. I'll see you guys in the next one. Will I do a part two? Probably not. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next one. Farewell, everybody.